The Tory leadership frontrunner touring to the ECHR as he argued it is allowing foreign criminals to walk the streets at taxpayers' expense. Robert Jenrick has claimed that Winston Churchill, who helped found the European Convention on Human Rights, would turn in his grave if he could see the harm it is now doing to Britain in a breakfast rally at Tory conference this morning. Mr Jenrick issued a renewed attack on the Human Rights Treaty which he is adamant Britain must leave in order to restore sovereignty over our borders. The Tory leadership frontrunner described the document as noble in its origins, but accused activist foreign judges of causing it to become twisted and bent out of all shape, with their ruling since the 1970s. He rallied, Churchill, friends, would turn in his grave if he saw what had happened to this. Churchill wanted us to defend the right of family life not the right for terrorists to remain in our country, on our streets, terrorizing British citizens. This needs to end. He provided examples of where the ECHR is now endangering Britons in favor of upholding the rights of foreign terrorists, murderers, rapists and pedophiles. He pointed to a case last month where a Ugandan criminal clubbed someone to death in the back of an ambulance, but was unable to be de UK because according to the ECHR, the mental health provision in Uganda is not good enough. In another example, he cited the case of Wabi Muhammad, a Somali terrorist who in the aftermath of the of the 7 7th bombings plotted to blow up Brits on trains in London, going so far as to plant four bombs that thankfully failed to detonate. He was sentenced to 17 years in prison, and after being released halfway through his sentence the UK government tried to deport him, however they were blocked because of the ECHR.